Happy Thursday, Kipsters. Today we will be breaking apart double digit numbers to say the tens and ones. Let's see if you can tell me the two numbers we will see when I pull this number apart. So what number is this? It's 78. And let's see what two numbers are going to appear when I pull this number apart. Let's see. I have 70 and 8. How many tens? or groups of 10 are in the number 70. Seven, seven tens. And how many ones are here? There's eight ones. So seven tens and eight ones is the same as 78. Let's draw a number bond that shows the tens and ones. So 78 is our total and it can go at the top of our number bond. That's our total. And now I'm gonna have two parts for 78, and that will show me my tens and my ones. So remember, we just broke this number apart and we saw that seven tens or 70 is one of the parts. And our second part was our ones, eight. So 70 and eight make 78. Let's see if we can make number sentences from this number bond. So number sentences, are, I'm going to put two parts together. I'm going to add them together and get my total. 70 plus 8 equals my total 78. I wonder if I start this time with my ones and I say 8 plus 70 equals 78. So in both of these number sentences, even though they start in different ways, both of these add-ins add up to my total of 78. The total did not change. Try it with a number 54. We can write our number bond first. What will our number bond look like for 54? So if we break the number apart into our tens and ones, let's start with our ones. How many ones are in 54? There's four. And how many tens are in 54? I can look at my tens place and see there are five tens. But instead of writing five tens, five tens is also the same as 50. 50 all together. So we have 50 and four makes our number bond of 54. Let's write two number sentences. So let's start with our tens. So we can say 50 plus four, is the same as 54. Or we can start with the ones and say, hmm, four more than 50, so four more than 50 equals 54. And in both of these, the total is still the same. I still have 54. For these next problems, one through four, I want you to try and solve these problems all on your own. But we're going to do number one together so that you know what your work should also look like. So we have in that picture right there, we have some bundles of sticks and some loose ones right there. So in each bundle of stick, we have a group of 10. So this is a group of 10, that one, that one, that one are groups of 10. And then of course, we have our loose ones. So if I want to fill out my number bond, just like we did before, I have to have my total and then my two parts, my tens and my ones. So I can label my number bond too, so I don't forget. I'll have my total, my tens and ones that make up my total. Those two parts make up my total. So let's count to see how many groups of 10 we have. We have one, two, three, four, four tens. And that's the same as saying 10, 20, 30, 40 sticks. So we have 40. And now we can write our loose ones. I have one, two, three, three ones. And my total should be, hmm, let's count one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43. I have 43 as my total. So now I can fill out my sentences. 40 and three make, what number did they make when I added 40 and three together? They made 43, good. 
Now 40 plus three or 40 more than three is 43. So I could have written it different ways. As long as my add-ins were four and three, my answer would be 43. So go ahead and try numbers two, three, and four all by yourself, and then pause the video, come back, and check your work. Pick up stairs, you can check your work and see if your work matches mine. And then make sure that for each problem that you did, you were super careful with your number bond and had your total and your two parts that made up your whole, the whole drawings that you see there in the boxes. For your exit ticket today, you're going to be doing the same thing you just did. You're going to count some objects, for example, the cubes right there. You're going to figure out how many tens there are and how many ones. And then two number sentences to show the tens and the ones, the two parts that make up your total. And for number two, complete the sentences to add the tens and ones. So letter A is asking you what's 90 plus two. What do you get when you put those two numbers together? And letter B, it says seven tens plus blink ones equals 79. So look at 79 and figure out how many ones are in 79. See you tomorrow, Kipsters.